I would probably get to know of it through the senior statistician. Try to not necessarily totally um, give a give a give a wrong figure, but at the wrong time or too late or too early or not enough detail or sometimes wrong. And I th I th I got to know of it. Maybe the senior statisticians came to me as the boss and said, my Secretary of State is trying to delay or more often not publish. Um, I would first of all get, that happened quite often, we don't need to publish this stuff if they were embarrassed or something. Now, if I knew that it should be published, mm -hmm. or correctly published, etc., um, I would first of all um, this happened, of, try to ensure that this top statistician was trying to fight that corner. But if the top statistician in the Department of Education said, well, I'm sorry, I, my, my minister doesn't want to know, then I would go and see the Minister of State, who quite often have the responsibility for statistics in that department. If I fail to persuade him, I would go and see the Secretary of State. And then I was in the lucky position, which they aren't now. I was able to say to him, look, this is wrong. You have to publish that figure, or you have to give it in more detail, or whatever I felt was right. And if he still said, I'm sorry, I can't agree with you, then I would say, well, I'll mention it to the Prime Minister next week. And then they usually gave in. That is why the power of being directly under the Prime Minister was so wonderfully crucial mm -hmm. in my time. Uh, because. They didn't want to have fights with the Prime Minister over statistics, mm -hmm. on the whole. So that nearly always worked, even with the Chancellor. The Chancellor said, which is more common, that here are these economic figures, but they're not really relevant. Mm -hmm. I would see the Chancellor quite often, and uh, if he wasn't playing the game according to my rules. I, I would simply say I mentioned it to the Prime Minister, which was often enough to make him change his mind. But if not, then the Prime Minister had to intervene. And I certainly recall I recall one day when I was when I was summoned to Chequers to see Heath. And uh, because he was having difficulties with uh, his labour minister over the unemployment statistics, and he needed my help. And so that was a sort of fun of the job. Um, now the only thing that doesn't fit that story is when the Prime Minister himself tried to fiddle something. And that happened famously in 1970. Mm -hmm. I don't think I already told you this. No. It is rather 
a crucial story of my time when I was summoned by uh, he, uh, um, Wilson. Um, he was worried that, it's all in his biography, he was worried that the import of new jumbo jets early in 1970 would turn our balance of payments into the negative. And he summoned me and he explained this. He said, look, at 30 million pounds. He said, it's not realistic to include all that in one month, just before the election. It should be spread over the year. I said, Prime Minister, I had just spent six months at the United Nations mm -hmm. uh, reviewing the whole world's statistics. And we'd confirmed one of the rules that imports and exports are measured in the months in which they occur. That's a rule. I said, Prime Minister, that's a rule. He said, yes, but this is so unusual. So he argued. And I said, well, I'm sorry. These figures are going to come out in January. Mm -hmm. And it's quite likely that it'll turn our balance of payments into the red. And um, he went on fighting me for several weeks. I was summoned once or twice. and. He telephoned and sent me notes and tried everything, including getting his chancellor, who was a close friend of mine, Roy Jenkins. He actually got me out of a performance of Figaro at Kleinborn to try to persuade me. And I said, I'm sorry, Chancellor, no way. I had to stand my ground, I mean, and I had my whole, my whole staff behind me, and uh, rules are rules, and that's exactly the sort of fiddle mm -hmm. that gives statistics a bad name. Mm -hmm. uh, so I stood my ground, and in the end, I wrote a resignation letter, mm -hmm. which I sent. The resignation was not accepted and he withdrew his pressure. And so the figures were included, the 30 million, and he did lose the election. And he never doubted for a moment that it was due to that. 